Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Amelia, I add tutorials and vlogs. However, today I am pressing the restart button. That's right, I'm going to be overhauling my channel and my life. So let me explain. Basically, I want to redo my room, but I have little to no budget to redo said room. So I figured a great way to redo it was by decluttering it and making it less stressful to look at and just getting rid of all the nonsense in my life that I really don't need. And this comes along with I just kind of, you know, want to do a mid-year New Year's resolution, I guess is what you could call it. So basically, I was really tempted to like just show you guys the finished product and be like, this is my room after like all time, you know? But really, I really, t I thought it would be fair to show you guys what my room looked like before. And because, I mean, really, it's just a complete mess. Let's be honest. There's piles everywhere. It's gross. I'm a gross human being, but we're going to fix all that today. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to take you guys along the journey of cleaning my room out and redoing my room on a little to no budget because all I, all I really want to do is just add a few pieces in there and redo pieces that I have. Like I have an old chair that I want to redo, I have this old like piece of furniture that used to be in my nursery that I can make into a plant stand, and then I have some salvaged wood that I want to make into a table. And that's just to name a few of the things that I have done and just a few other projects that I want to add into my room that I haven't yet. And so yeah, I'm just very excited. But um, to show you guys kind of what is in my head, I created a mood board and we're going to go ahead and look at that right now. Okay, so this is the mood board. I'm not going to go over everything. I just want to highlight two main things and you guys can just pause and read the rest of it if you would like. So the first thing I want to highlight is the console table. The console table is what I really want to be the main focus of my room. I think it's going to be a really cool feature, a little bit different than, you know, things like a traditional desk or something. And I just think it would be really cool. And then the next thing I want to highlight is the color palette. I think my best advice is to keep the color palette the same when you're redoing a room on a budget. So that way you can use the same decorations. So now that you guys have seen my room before, I'm going to go ahead and just like get to work, man. I'm going to move all my clothes into this room, which is my sister's old room, which is also going to be turned into the guest bedroom, which is where we're taking everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving. I'm listening to country music, so what am I having fun? So this is the worst angle ever, worst lighting, but who really cares? Because I finished moving all my clothes and shoes into that room, and now we can get started on moving the furniture. Well, like just the one big piece of furniture out of the room, which is my bed, which all I'm gonna do is just prop up my mattress against the wall, and then the rest of it I'm going to move out of my room. So. I'm gonna go ahead and prop you guys up in here and we'll see how this goes. update you guys sporadically about how much I've gotten done and all that stuff so for now we're gonna stop the montage and I'll see you guys in a second all right so status update I have gotten the shelves and my nightstand cleaned out <laughs> which is it seems like oh those are two very small things but that's a lot of progress for me all right so that whole pile's keep I'm gonna go through it like again because like there's stuff I don't want to keep that's there that needs to go into like um a memory box. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I put that in quotes, but into a memory box to put in the attic. 
because I like to keep things if you couldn't tell what got me into this situation. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to clean that out or you know that's all keep and then we have a nice tiny little donation pile going, um, a sell pile going because I realized I have a lot of electronics that like we don't use anymore because like you know, now we stick to a different routine, but like right when Apple was like blowing up, we were like using Kindle and stuff like that. So we have like old Kindles that I want to give away and stuff. So that's my progress. I still have a lot more to go. I think my next tact is to get this big pile right here moved out, which is just like, that's actual like memory stuff that I've already gone through like multiple times, but I want to refine it one more time because there's also some things that I just randomly stuffed out in there one time. So we're going to clean that stuff out and see what I can get rid of. But um, currently it is, focus, 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 12.47, I was listening to Kiss a Girl by Keith Urban. So, um, yeah, uh, about 1.15, I'm gonna take a break and grab some lunch, but, I mean, I think I'm making good progress, man. <laughs> Okay, so it is currently 2, 2.36 and my dog is barking. I'm very sorry if you can hear him. But um, I'm gonna show you guys the progress that I have made on my room. All right, so first we have to start outside of my room. This is like selling items. I no longer play basketball, so I'm getting rid of those. Um, That's my bed stuff. Tripod, hello. This is my bed stuff. This is all of the clothes, by the way. Like, I have so many more clothes than I actually wear and it's ridiculous and it sounds I hate when people say that like I've listened I just there's not as much here as I think there is and I know that but there's a lot of stuff that I've just, like hung on to like oh one day I'll fit into it no one day I will never fit into it so um anyway into my room my room is pretty I have a lot of floor space <laughs> um so right here right as we enter we have all my blankets and things, which there's some in here that I'm probably going to move or like donate or whatever, but they have to stay there. Um, most of them will probably go back underneath my bed because I do like switch blankets out all the time. And also like they're just blankets that I want to keep because like my grandma made them for me or something. That's my cat bed <laughs> or my cat's bed. This is all stuff that has to go into the office. So, like this right here, besides this blue bin, all has to go into my office uh, slash craft room. This is probably going to go underneath my bed, but it's just a bunch of books that I want to keep because I love like... I don't love books, but these are just like the books that I want to keep because they're like books that I've really enjoyed and like, you know, just want to keep. So <laughs> those are all right there, except for this book. I just read this book, but so that's right there. And then this is decor items that were like on my wall and stuff. These are all Christmas lights that I plan on doing something with, and you will see that <laughs> later, but those are all just hanging out right there. Um, that's like a random bin, just like things that I want to keep, but like don't have a place for yet. This is my memories bin. It's kind of actually like smaller than I thought it was going to be. My yoga mats and stuff. This stuff has like, it's just a bag with like a bunch of stuff in it. Mm, whatever. Um, this was all on my dresser and I want to keep it all, but it needs to find this new place on the new dresser that I'm going to build. You know, well, not new dresser, console table thing that I'm going to build. Um, stool that has like stuff in it. Um, this is a locker shelf actually, so it's meant to go in like your locker at school, but I use it to like, you know, have more space. So, uh, I have like cords and things back there. That's like a toy bin. Yes, I have toys. It's mostly like Rubik's cubes and like that one speed stacks that I want to keep because I just really like, I don't know. This is just like beauty stuff that I had out. The rest of it's in my bathroom. So like, this is like my doll head and anything. <laughs> That's all bags that I had out. This is trash right here. This is a donation bag. And then the closet. The closet I have decided to go through tonight because we're just, mm, that's like another day <laughs> because it doesn't actually doesn't have much stuff in it. So it wouldn't really take me a lot of time. I just don't really want to go through it because like there's that bin up there and stuff and it's just, I just don't know. Not right now. Anyway, and then this, um, Nightstand is all cleaned out. I'm just using it as a table for now because I have like no service area in here anymore. So that's basically the progress. Right now I'm gonna work on cleaning out my um, dresser and we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my dresser and um, 
get some piles going for clothes and then after I clean out my dresser, I'm hopefully gonna be able to move it somewhere. <laughs> I'm going to try and move it into that room once I like, I'll shuffle all the other clothes into here or I'll like move the clothes over and then put the dresser in there and that way I can move the clothes in and have more space to work. And then I'm gonna move everything that goes into the office into the office and then I'll only have a little corner of stuff that stays in my room. Capiche? That sounds good. I actually have a lot less stuff in here than I thought I did. It was just cluttered. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a few hours. I'm just gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna go grab my Mac, put on a nice show, and just sit and sort clothes. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> okay, so I have moved the bed into here and now I'm gonna move everything on top of the bed. Yeah, that's basically my update. Right now, I have sorted out everything that's in the dresser except for two drawers because one drawer is like a old t-shirt drawer that I'm like saving for a blanket that my grandma's gonna make me whenever I graduate high school like a tradition in my family. So um, we do that and the other one is like a drawer that's full of like travel and beauty stuff, which I don't really wanna clean out right now. So I'm gonna leave those two in till the end because they're just like things that need to go into a box and the other one is basically just, I mean, it's really just all trash to be honest with you. So that's staying there. Right now you're on top of the dresser, which is in, still in the same place. The bed is somewhat where I want it to be. It'll obviously have to be moved later whenever I move the dresser out of here. But my plan is to go ahead and clean out the closet real quickly. And then I'm going to finish, well, I'm going to start bringing over all the clothes into here and sorting all of those out and just keep piling up the donations bin and um, the maybe's bin. I'm already like giving away, like planning on giving away clothes and stuff and like clothes that like I know people will already want and instead of donating them, just go ahead and give, give the clothes to them. So, we're doing that, and then I think I'll be done for the night. As long as my end goal basically is just to get this dresser out of here and my clothes sorted and somewhat put back in a... Uh, just somewhat put back into the closet. Somehow I'll get that in there. But yeah, that's my goal. My battery is running low, so I'll probably check in with you guys in a few more hours. I'm going to try and just bang out a bunch of sorting and cleaning out and all that stuff. So, I will see you guys in a little while. Bye. Hey guys, so it is currently 12.02 the next day. Um, last time I saw you guys, I think it was 3 something. Basically, I just want to show you guys the progress that I made and also update you guys that <clears throat> apparently I'm losing my voice for like no reason at all. Don't know why that just happened. But I want to show you guys the progress that I made. It honestly looks like I'm moving out for college or something. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys the progress that I made and also update you guys on like what's happening with the design and things like that and what I'm thinking about. So let's get with the room tour like part 15. Okay, so like this is my current like filming situation right now. <laughs> okay. So you basically come in, this is my room. I have my bed all nicely set up and stuff, except for that little bin right there. But I was getting my measuring tape out, so <laughs> don't, yeah. Anyway, so this is the bed. I have my shoes for today, because I'm about to go shopping. And um, this bin actually is gonna go over there. This bin has all the stuff that I'm like keeping in it. I just needed to put it in like a bin, so that way it's out of the way while I'm like building and organizing here, because it was just getting piles and piles and piles again. So <laughs> it's in a bin now. I still have my cat bed, so basically, I'm keeping all of this stuff. This, this stuff, Mr. Owl Plant, and this bin is everything that I'm keeping. And then, well, except for this, I'm keeping this little thing right here, which is going to become a plant stand. And then this bin right here, I'm just going to transfer stuff into, like, a better bin, because, like, I have it in a basket right now, so I'm going to put it all in this bin, um, so that way I can keep it under control, which is, like, just memory crap and, like, collect and things that I've had for over the years. This is all donation stuff, so I have one full box, and then I have this box that I want to fill with another box inside of it that I'm going to fill. And then um, this is all trash. This I still need to move into a different room, like across the hall, and then that's a lamp that's broken. And this is my closet. 
Um, I'm keeping the nice little posters on the inside because I just don't really want to take them down. Because they're just kind of like mementos, man. And plus no one's even when the door is closed. So it doesn't matter. That's a dirty clothes pile for now. Um, so I have this hanger right here. As you can see, I have not finished like putting my doing my clothes. So like, let's do an update situation on that. Um, basically, what happened yesterday is I got lazy and I didn't feel like doing the clothes because it got pretty late at night because I just was doing some other stuff. So I have everything organized. So that way, I'm just gonna stack up the bins and then just start bringing piles of clothes from the other room to put into here. And then the other big thing that I got done yesterday was, as you can see, there's no more dresser right here. Uh, that was a big plus. I got that out of there, or out of there, out of here, and into the other room, which without its complications, I didn't realize. Fun story time. Um, the mirror that was on top of the dresser, I didn't realize was taller than the door. So I was pushing it out and then I'm like, it won't go anymore. Like trying to push it a bit. I'm like, why aren't you moving anymore? And um, then I look up and it was stuck underneath the door frame. So I had my dad help me, we detached it. Simple, just a few screws and then it was um, done. So we got that moved out to here and obviously I ch told you guys yesterday that I got the um, bed frame switched. So I switched the bed frames out and I put the new bed frame in there. Also without its complications, I have two cuts on the same leg. I don't know why it's on the same leg, but two cuts at the same leg from the bed frame. And then um, I had to like reassemble it because it's like a weird bed frame because it hooks into the head, the footboard and the headboard, it hooks into them and like it wouldn't hook in at one point. And I was putting the box spring on, ugh, and then it came detached Then I had to like disassemble it again and <laughs> there was a lot of grunting and it was not fun. <laughs> so I did that and then I think that's it. But let me update you guys on the design because I have decided on a new design for my table. So I'm gonna go ahead and like. So basically, the goal for this is to like spend as little to no money as possible, as I've said before. Also, I want to if I spend any money, I want it to be my money because I want to do this. The goal is just to do it all by myself. So let me show you guys the table. So basically, I'm a terrible drawer. You know what? It's fine. It's a table diagram. No one really cares. So basically, this is a table that I'm <laughs> this is the table that I'm creating right here. This was the I'm backwards here. This was the original design. Um, basically, I was going to create like sawhorses out of the wood, but then I could do it. But then I was like, is it really worth it? Because then I'd have to create the shelves within it, and the shelves are gonna be awkward sizes. So then I was talking, and I was like, if I was talking with my dad who's going to help me build the table because <laughs> I am not the expert woodworker in this house. Neither is he, but he's better than me. So <laughs> I was talking with him and I was like, and the other thing that I could do is like wood crates because I've actually had this idea and I've been tinkering with it for a very, very long time. Because first I wasn't going to redo my room, I just wanted to add a desk. And then it spiraled into this. So <laughs> you can see how my thought process goes. Basically, I was just going to, you know, buy some wood, put it on top, and then do the wood crates. That was my original design plan. That's all I was originally going to do. And it was going to be a very small desk. And it was going to be over in like the corner over there. And my bed was going to be the same layout as always. But then I decided, no, that's not good enough. And so I had a bunch of other plans. And then I, I don't know, I just reverted back to this plan. So I also had some other plans to use the wood crates to make like a big shelving unit or something like that or do it in my closet. I was just kind of like, I want to do something with wood crates because I have, there's this one pin that I kept seeing on Pinterest where it was like, you know, that pin with the dark wood, wood crates that's just like stacked and it's like really cute style and stuff. I had that and I was like, okay, I want to do something with wood crates and they're pretty cheap at Home Depot. So I landed on that and basically my plan, hopefully as long as they're cheap enough, I'm going to do six on each side stacked horizontally and then if I can because I think I have enough wood for this I'm going to create matching side tables out of I'll stack them vertically and then I'll do a half one on top so like that one I only have to buy three because it'll be like one and then three you know like the half you get what I mean and then we'll make a tiny little wood top to go on top of it but the only problem is as we're still trying deciding how to like seal the wood which I have done some half-witted research and it looks like you know there's waxes out there and then everyone's like sanding it down but I want to keep the color of the wood as much as possible because the color of the wood is so beautiful and it's like natural 
and the grain is really pretty but it needs to be smooth so that way I'm not getting any splinters and I can't sand it or else you get rid of the color uh, or at least you ruin the color and it just kind of ruins the character so yeah that's the dilemma at this point <laughs> but that's the update hi guys okay so it is currently 5 53 I feel like I'm just you know entering things into a video diary but it's fine um I'm gonna show you guys progress that I made on clothes all I have left to go through is my hanging clothes, so that's good. But I want to show you guys what all I have decided. Okay, so this whole pile right here I'm keeping. That pile, like right there, is I'm keeping. That's all donation stuff right there. And then I have a pile that's like right there. That's going to be sorted through in just a minute. So I thought show you guys me sorting through some clothes because you know quality content I also know that the camera is very tilted right now and I'm very sorry so yeah let's get to sorting man hello friends so it is finally here the end of this video it's been a long four days yes I've been going for four days Four days I've been cleaning up my room. The first day and the second day were like the biggest days. I got a lot of stuff done those two days. Um, then these past two days I've just kind of been trudging along, you know, cleaning up here and there, making the final touches, blah, blah, yada, yada. Anyway, I'm finally done. I'm going to show you guys the finished cleaned out room product. This is the midway point to the finished product of this room. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the finished cleaned out room. It looks very sad I'm just gonna put that out there the only place that's like finished right now is my bed <laughs> my bed is the only thing that looks like an actual like finished product so which isn't even true because I don't even have like the sign hung up because we ran out of wire to hang it up so we have to go into Home Depot again third time this week we are going again tomorrow to pick some stuff up and also pick up the rest of the supplies to make everything else but that will be in a different video that will be going up after this one so that's that i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the finished room i'm very excited it feels so good to finally have it all like cleaned out and only have a little corner of stuff that like i'm actually keeping and like you know it's gonna be there and i'm very happy about it so yeah it's kind of like looking around my room not looking at the camera i'm very sorry but i'm very happy i've said that many many times let's go ahead and get this room tour started all right so right as we walk into the room we just have like my door and then i have my mirror which if it focuses that is going to go up on the wall right there but i'm giving away a lot of secrets anyway that's going up on the wall you can only see it part of me anyway. <laughs> anyway that's going there and then we turn here again this is like the only like finished part um <laughs> it's just my bed it's nice and clean i have my temporary side table and like just a bunch of blankets right there temporary side table um chargers and everything my laptop all that crap so this is like the bed right as you walk in you'll see the bed and then we turn this way i have my huge stack of shoes <laughs> that will go in a shoe rack eventually hopefully that might happen today if i get that built today we'll see but um shoe rack will eventually go there and um my shoes are just kind of laying in the pile that stuff has to go into a bin and those bins are currently filled with stuff that i don't want to run about the floor that will have a space once i build the table so clothes are just going to sit in the pile for now because those are like old t-shirts and stuff that i want to keep that have like memorable occasions and stuff and then we have the plant stand which the plant stand currently has a plant on it this is a pothos plant it's very pretty very viney beautiful greenery um headphones like some change a screwdriver that i was using <laughs> then i just have some like knickknacks that stuffed animal has to go away i just have um, i found it yesterday because it was in a pile so we gotta put that away later then i have a tape measure and like a pen and stuff that i'm using and then the blanket for my cat's bed and then right here this is all stuff that i've gone through and i'm keeping this bag has some stuff in it um these are all the bags that are like just you know kind of sitting about my little stool um then these two bins are like have stuff that's going to go into the nightstands and into the table that I make and stuff and back onto these shelves and all that and then I have like a little painting um this stuff right here is just like some cords miscellaneous crap that I didn't put in the bin and then we have my other little plant Mr. Aloe plant and then we have all the jewelry which and headbands which will be going 
through once I put that into the jewelry holder that I'm making. And then right there, I just have like a yoga mat and stuff. And that's my room, um, except for my closet. Okay, I'll do a second closet tour. So basically, this is my beautiful closet. It has um, my little basketball hoop right here. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. I don't really care if it matches. I like my basketball hoop and it's staying there. And I have some bags that's just like always are on the store. And then this is my beautifully clean closet for once in my lifetime. My closet is never clean. Um, anyway, I just have like this little organizer right here, which will be replaced sooner or later because it's kind of like breaking up there, but whatever. It will be replaced at one point in time. And then I have all my shirts. This is... Okay, <laughs> I have a very specific organization system. So basically it goes um, by sleeves and then by, okay, it's by sleeves and then by nice shirts to like t-shirts slash workout shirts and then by color. So we have all my nice tank tops right here organized by color, all my nice shirts hanging <laughs> organized by color, all my workout tank tops organized by color, and then all my t-shirts organized by color. Once again, see Rainbow Order. Those are all back there. And then same thing, I have long sleeves, and then I have my dresses, and then I have cardigans right here, which are like kimonos really, I have like one maybe cardigan, but, um, and then I have long sleeve t-shirts that are just organized, and then way in the back I have jackets that I don't wear that much. Ooh, it's focusing on my arm hair, thank you. Um, anyway, that's all back there. This is a memories box. This is the one box that I'm keeping full of like memories and stuff, which still has like a lot of room in it. Um, hats, pajamas, and my undergarments. And then that's a box full of like knee braces and like other stuff that I didn't have a place to put, but I wanted it in like a bin. So for now it's being held in that box. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get replaced sooner or later. But for now, that is my room. Alrighty friends, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to stay tuned for part two of this three-part series for my room makeover, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell down below. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and an awesome weekend, an awesome month, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!